Let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, some folks will watch various shows, listen to various music that may not necessarily reflect their political positions, uh, but they, they like the shows. Uh, so is this an accurate reflection of a political agenda, shall we say? Sure. Look, I, I share your sentiment. Just because I, I, you know, someone potentially listens to country music doesn't mean they're necessarily a Republican. But the key here and what Pandora is doing is when you sign up for this app, you sign up with your zip code. And Wolf, your zip code has a lot of valuable geographic data that Pandora is taking advantage of. So in the past, what they've done is they've looked at your zip code and said, hey, you know, a lot of folks in this area, this is where the election goes, whether it goes to the left or the right. Now they're adding in your listening preference. So they're able to say, if you live in a certain, and this is an example they gave me, if you live in a certain suburb of Chicago that generally votes to the left, and uh, they can look and see that a lot of folks might listen to reggae music, and they take that and they correlate it and they can target. Uh, now, Wolf, I spoke to a partner. Uh, they advertise, they, they partnered with an advertising firm called Bully Pulpit, and I I spoke to a partner from there and I said, you know, what's interesting about this technology? Listen to what he said, Wolf. The most interesting thing about Pandora's new technology is the ability to not only reach the right voter at the right time, but get to know them, get to understand a little bit more about um, their lifestyle, uh, get to know a little bit more about uh, what their tastes are. You know, the idea is that the more they know about you, whether it's where you live, whether it's what you listen to, the better they can target those political ads to you. You know, they said that they've already drawn the correlations between country music zip code, or between uh, Republican zip codes and country music, and also Democratic zip codes, and something like they say their listeners listen to jazz and reggae. So it's all about building out this rich profile that they could essentially make money off of, Wolf. Have we already seen some of these targeted political ads on Pandora? We have. You know, we haven't seen them when it com comes to the listening, but we have seen it when it comes to them targeting us based on where we live. So a lot of New York Pandora listeners, when uh, when Bill de Blasio was running for mayoral office, they started getting these certain ads, and I, I believe we have uh, some examples of them. And essentially, while you were listening uh, to a song, they would say, hey, you know, if you live in a certain zip code, hey, put in your email address. They're trying to build out their email context. Another example, uh, Terry McAuliffe uh, in Virginia, over a million Pandora users actually got an ad that said, you know, this is where you should go and vote, uh, you know, for, for Terry. So that's really what they're trying to do, build this rich profile of who their listeners are so they can make money, Wolf.